Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to a new series called Fact Me. I just thought I'd use Snake Rattle and Roll as the background to this video. I have no particular reason, I just like the game. But this is where you, the viewers, can ask me questions, and I'll answer the ones that I want to in another video. Uh, if you do have questions, though, make sure to follow my forums and Facebook, because that's where I'm going to ask for future questions. I'm not going to make a video just to get, you know, 500 questions per hour, you know. So follow me on the forums or Facebook. Uh, there are links to them in my channel profile and in the video description here. Now, I'm starting this new series brought to you by the letter N for Netflix. For those who don't know, they deliver movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. And you can get your DVD in the mail in about one business day. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV shows and movies streaming to your computer or PC or Mac, TV, PS3, Xbox 360, or Nintendo Wii console. And for being a loyal subscriber, you can get a free trial membership from me. Just go to netflix.com slash hcb, not H C Bailey, just my first three initials there, and follow the link in the video description. Uh, make sure to use the URL so that way you know H.C. Bailey sent you instead of just some random guy off the street. And in the future for this series, I may decide to use a real video, like with a real camcorder and stuff, but, well, I don't have a digital camcorder, so let's get started here. Now, this is Snake Rattle and Roll. We are a snake head thing, and we eat little balls that make us grow our segmented tail back for some reason. Wow, whoa! Watch out for Jaws, or whatever that thing is, but yeah, you don't want to uh, get caught by that guy. It's instant death, so let's eat some balls then. Now, when you've eaten enough balls, then the last segment of your tail will flash like that. You can't get your tail any longer, so don't worry about that. And that's pretty much all there is to the game. We got bonus levels and everything. It's awesome. I like it. Got a pseudo 3D atmosphere for it. Okay, so anyway, now I'll get to the actual questions here that some of you guys asked me. Some people, someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, uh, what is the most important thing to you when making an LP? Uh, character, humor, or completeness? And for me personally, I'd have to go with completeness, but probably for the average person, probably humor, I would say, is more important. But I mean, when I'm looking for a video, you know, I'm looking up for information and stuff. You know, so, you know, that's what I look for, you know, uh, preferably a guy who's well-spoken and brings a lot of energy to the video, too, which is why I do that with my videos. And someone was also asking me, uh, will you ever do a co-op with someone other than your brother? And I'll be honest, the answer is rather unlikely, unless it's one of my friends in real life, but... You know, I, I like having, con I'm a control freak. I like having control over, you know, the studio and the environment and everything. So, you know, it's probably unlikely that I'd ever do an LP over the internet with someone like that or something like that. So, pretty unlikely there. How do I decide what games I want to LP? Well, like for what I chose here, I basically choose games that were from my childhood or games that I really like. I mean, I'm starting to run out of games from my childhood, really. I mean, there's only so many. But, I mean, you get the idea. So, that's basically how, how I choose them. Although, sometimes I choose games that I know that, you know, I've played, but perhaps not from my childhood, like Lufia, Lufia 2, uh, Dragon Warrior 4, probably, eventually. Ooh, I'm invincible now. But, I mean, you know, that, that's basically how I choose. I don't really go by what people suggest for the most part, really. Ooh, I think that thing makes me faster. Or something else. I don't know. What was your first Final Fantasy experience? Well, I... Oh, that guy hurt me. What was that, a toilet seat? Well, anyway. Uh, my first Final Fantasy experience, I kind of mentioned it in the Final Fantasy 13 LP, where I... Uh, was it when I was at a Kmart, and I bought Final Fantasy 1 for $60. And... And it was money well spent. I had the Nintendo Power Strategy Guide and everything, so yeah, it was great. Uh-oh. Nuts, I missed the one. Oh, well. But yeah, so I mean, it was like such a deep game back in the day, you know? So many hours of fun and level grinding. I loved it back then. 
What are some of my other favorite Final Fantasy games? I mean, you guys know my top three are Final Fantasy 4, 9, and 6, but after that, I'd probably have to go with Final Fantasy 7. Honestly, Final Fantasy 13 is about the middle of the pack, and Final Fantasy 5, I'd have to go in that order there. I mean, I just, I really like the balance of the battle mechanics and the music and everything like that. I just really enjoy all that. Uh, anything else in the series, you know? I like them, they're just not my favorites, you know? So, oh well. This question was simply wrote, Square or Enix? I assume you mean which one do I like better, so... Back in the day, I'd have to give the edge to Square a little bit. I mean, Enix had better battle mechanics and everything like that, but I like, uh... I like Square because they had such great balance between not only entertaining battle mechanics, I mean, maybe not the absolute best, but they were still entertaining, and... Uh, I mean, they had the great music and everything with Umatsu, and that's a really big factor for me. And, you know, I mean, it just had a better balance between, you know, having great story, but also a lot of gameplay time, too, as opposed to doing too much. Nowadays, I'm not so sure, but back then, it was amazing. Like that. Yeah, nowadays, a bit too heavy on the story, but they still have good games. Uh, let's see, who's my favorite Final Fantasy character? I'd have to say Sid from Final Fantasy VII. He's just so over the top, but he's still a good guy in general. You know, sticks up with his friends and believes in doing what's right. And okay, so he's a smoker and he, you know, is, is pretty abusive of his girlfriend. But other than that, you know, pretty good guy, I think. Uh-oh, that reversed my controls. Nuts. No, no. I better wait for this to wear off. And someone was also asking me, H.C. Bailey, how many Mega Man games have, have you played? Well, I, uh... I played the original ones on the NES, all six of them. I also played Mega Man X 1 through 3, and then after that I got into Magic the Gathering, and I didn't really have time for playing video games nearly as much as I used to. So, oh, there you go. But yeah, I did used to play Mega Man quite a bit. Can I make that jump? I'll give it two more tries. Oh, there we go. Maybe I can make it all the way up there. No, no, I'm not even gonna bother trying. Uh, someone else also asking me, uh, do I plan on getting any new systems in the future? Like uh, the PSP or 3DS? Uh, I've been seriously thinking about a, a PSP, which I do not have, because of the new Final Fantasy IV game, but also because, you know, I've heard they've got a lot of good RPGs on there, like Final Fantasy Tactics that I'd like to compare for the upcoming LP, and maybe some other things, like Disgaea, or Crisis Core. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff that I'm possibly interested in, so, yeah, well, just some things I'm thinking about. Maybe a 3DS when they actually get some RPGs for it, but not right now. Uh, who would I say is the funniest character from the games that I've made LPs for? I'd have to either go with Lufia or Kina. They're pretty good. Uh, really, though, I mean, that's a lot of that is based on, you know, recent memory. I mean, I'd probably have to think more about it, really, to give a more complete answer. But, yeah, I'd probably go with those two for recent games. What's my favorite song from the games I've LP'd? I'd have to go with... Uh... What is it? The Dreadful Fight from Final Fantasy IV. I just love that song. I just love the beat. So epic. But more than that, I mean, they just have, like, real instruments for them. You know, like, the crashing cymbals and everything like that. So, I really like that. I love how it's so versatile, too. It's not just good boss music, but it was great, like, during... to, you know, advance the storyline. Like, when Zemus was destroying your party. Or, like, when Rydia came back and you were fighting... Uh, Golbez there and everything like that. So, I mean, I really love how, you know, it was used for so many different scenes, too. And it was effective, too. I really like that part of it. Let's kill this guy here. There we go. Whoa! Yeah, don't fall on the spikes or it's instant death. Oh, wow. Well. Whoa! Toilet seats! Killer toilet seats! Let's uh, get some more balls. 
But yeah, um, let's see. What other hobbies did you have before making LPs? Well, as a lot of you know, I used to play Magic the Gathering. Uh, pretty hardcore, too. I used to uh, try to get on the Pro Tour, go to Pro Tour qualifiers, uh, but never actually made it, so oh well. But it just got to the point where it was just too expensive for me to really keep up with it. So I eventually got out of that. I started playing World of Warcraft and some more mainstream games like Oblivion and stuff. But eventually, I, yeah, I just really didn't... They really didn't latch on to me back in the day. And then I got into... Uh, uh, what is it? I got into, well, Mario Paint Composer, obviously. And eventually I started making my own uh, my LPs. And, well, the rest is history, pretty much. So trying to get more of these balls here, particularly the orange ones, because I'm orange. It's my favorite color. Uh, let's see, what do my cats look like? Well, Lenny is a prototypical basement cat, and Stripe, yeah, and Lenny's a very naughty kitty too, because he's a basement cat. Uh, let's see, Stripe is a silver tabby, pretty much. So, there you go, and she's a good cat, a great cat. Hey, get back here! Nuts, I lost my balls. Oh well. What do I think about the NFL lockout? I really don't care. A bunch of millionaires squabbling over money and, well, you know, if they don't work it out, well, then I'm pretty much going to be watching my balls. So, there you go. But yeah, I don't think there's any right or wrong going on between them. It's just, you know, they're doing whatever they're doing. I really don't care for what either side has to say. Like, oh, well, this side cares, but the other side doesn't. No, nah, no, nah, I don't really care. What does the C stand for in H.C. Bailey? Well, I won't tell you right now, but I will tell you when I'm willing to reveal that, and that will be in my second Densetsu 3 LP. No, it does not stand for Carly or Charlotte. I will tell you when it is, and if you already know what it is for whatever reason, then, well, don't spoil it for people. Uh, let's see, what other questions? I'm just looking at a list of questions that people asked me here. Uh, what were, what were my, what's my career before I started doing this? Well, I'm still doing it, but I have a small business that I got into after graduating from college. I uh, graduated uh, summa cum laude as in electronics engineering technology. Nuts, I'm going to need to get more balls. But, well... Game? But yeah, after... Oh, I can't go all the way down there. Well, there we go. I guess I get to start over. But yeah, I mean, so... I graduated, job market collapsed on me, so I went into a small business, and... Well, it now it allows me to work one or two days a week, and make these LP videos. I mean, I could work more, but I really don't feel like it as long as I'm making enough money to get by, you know. I, that's good enough for me. Oh, man, am I ever going to get out of here? Probably not. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not very good at the, uh, whatever the word is for this kind of 3D, but oh, well. And probably the question... Oh, man, I need to get my balls back. Nuts! Let's see, have I done anything else? Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all the questions that I really feel like ask, answering here. So, there you go. If you have other questions, just ask me in my form. Yeah, I'm not going to make it this time, but oh well. And there was one other question that a lot of people have asked me over the years, so I figured I'll show you now. What do I look like? Well, I don't have a digital camcorder, but here's a picture for you, viewers. There you go. Yeah, I, uh, that picture's probably a couple years old, but, well, there you go. But yeah, I used to uh, wear contact lenses more often, and well, nowadays I wear glasses more often. Alright, so, thanks for watching my first episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure to check out my sponsor, Blammo. Uh, I mean, uh, Netflix, at... Netflix.com slash HCB, and thank you for watching. Now I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, will you ever make another episode for this series? Find out next time on Fact Me. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off.
Have a good day.